to grow. Tune in to Kids Radio. And start your hands to clapping or tap your little toe. Tune in say, to Kids Radio. Music. Stop that music, I say. That's better. This is a mystery episode, and I'm the one telling the story. Oh, yes. Well, I suppose I should introduce myself to everyone also. They call me Freddy Fox, world's greatest little-known detective. I've solved some of the strangest cases on the books. My name strikes fear in the black hearts of the seamy underworld characters. That is, if they know of me. That's right. I'm Freddy Fox, world's greatest little-known detective. Wait a minute. I may have stopped the intro theme song, but we need some good mystery music to set the mood while I tell the story of one of the strangest cases I've ever tackled. Come on now, where's my background music? That's better. Now where was I? Oh yes, I was about to tell you about the strange case of the follower. Very well, it all began one afternoon as I was sitting in my office chair and staring at my glass windowed office door in front of me. That's when I noticed something strange on my door. I'm very good at noticing strange things, you know. But as I stared at my office door window, I observed where both my first and last names were supposed to be printed on that window. I should know because I'd painted my name on the office door window just yesterday. But now something was wrong. It read, Zorf Eidorf. My brain went to immediate action. Who was this Zorf Eidorf? And why did he take my name off my office door window and paint his in? Perhaps it was a trick being played on me by a member of the criminal element. Perhaps it was an old enemy I'd caught and turned over to the machine of justice. Or perhaps I hadn't paid my rent and someone named Zorf Eidorf had taken over my office. But then I noticed a clue. Both of his names ended in the capital letter F. My brain began to make connections with lightning speed. The letter F must be a clue. Listen to the words that have an F sound. Is the F sound. Listen and you'll hear the F sound song. Listen and follow along. Listen to the words that have an F sound. Is the F sound. Listen and you'll hear the F sound song. Listen and follow along. Fine. Finger. Fist. Foot. Detective Freddy Fox here. Freddy? Fox. Freddy Fox. You're looking for some words that begin with F? I seem to have heard some a moment ago, didn't you? Let's see. Could you find your finger, find your fist, find your foot, your face and wrist, find a feather, find a friend, I'll find a fox around the bend. <laughs> feel your forehead, feel your face, feel your feet in another place. Find a football, find a fish, find a fairy for your wish. What? You missed some? Well, listen again. Return with more Kids Radio right after this. So you see, there I was that afternoon, sitting in what I thought was my office. Yet there was the name Zoff Eidorf printed on the window of the closed office door. And at that moment, she walked through the door. Pardon me, but I'm looking for a detective... Madam, I'm afraid there's been a mistake made here. I know who you thought was in this office... You thought this was the office of Zoff Eidorf, am I right? No, I thought this was the office of Freddy Fox, the world's greatest little-known detective. Who is Zoff Eidorf? Obviously, my dear woman, the man who owns this office, since that is his name printed on the window of the office door. 
What are you talking about? It has Freddy Fox printed on the front of this office door window. No, oh, madam. Look at the window from here and you'll see it clearly says Zoff Idov. And notice both names end in capital F. What? That's because the door is closed and you're seeing the name Freddy Fox coming through on this side backwards. See, if I open the door on the front of the window of the door, it clearly says Freddy Fox. You were reading it backwards. Oh, yes. I, I knew that already, madam. I was just testing your powers of observation. <laughs> I suppose you are Freddy Fox. Have you noticed that both your first and last names begin with F? That's astounding, madam. How did you know? Oh, fantastic. I'm coming to you for help, and you don't even know what office you're in. Well, let's just skip the whole thing, shall we? You probably don't even know where you park your car. Ah, you're obviously trying to hide something, hey? And you don't wish to talk about it. No, I don't have anything to hide. Then what is that strange, shiny weapon you're holding in your hand? Oh, this? This is a cassette tape. Don't point it at my face, madam. It might be loaded. What? It's a cassette tape, not a gun. I listened to it earlier today on my cassette player at home. Someone had left it in my house, apparently, so I would listen to it. Then throw it out the window at once! It's a bomb! Oh, it's a bomb, all right, but not the kind of that explodes. Well, if it were a real bomb, it would have exploded when I played it earlier today. And see, there's my name written on the cassette tape. It says, to Miss Carolyn of Kids Radio Show. Hmm, this might be a clue. What should I do with this tape? Well, I suggest you listen to it like I did. I mean, that is what a tape is for. Splendid idea. I was about to suggest that very solution myself. But tell me, how does one go about listening to a cassette? Oh, brother. We'll listen to it on my portable cassette player in my purse. Are you sure you're a detective? Of course I am, madam. And I already have a lead on that tape. It obviously was left by this Miss Carolyn who left her name written on it. Kids Radio may be an underground criminal group headed by this sinister Miss Carolyn. What? I'm Miss Carolyn. Oh, then why did you leave a tape for yourself? Oh, just listen to the tape and see what it is. Mr. Harry Foot wastes no time. I hear he's back and right up front. His clothes are hip and he knows what he needs. Never left behind. Miss Mr. Harry Foot. Let's do it again. Maybe a little faster. Mr. Harry Foot wastes no time. I hear he's back and right up front. His clothes are hip. And he knows what he needs, never left behind, Mr. Harry Foot. Gadzooks, this is more serious than I thought. Huh? What do you mean? This tape was left by Mr. Harry Foot. And who is Mr. Harry Foot? Just one of the most sinister criminals the world has ever known. We first met ten years ago when I caught him on the street trying to steal a sack full of bandies from an old woman. Bandies? Later on, he escaped and formed a ring of bandy snatchers that operated all over the globe. So I followed him through the Himalayas, going from village to village, just missing him each time, finding a village that had been robbed of all their bandies. I trailed his gang of bandy snatchers through Europe where they wreaked havoc on every owner of bandies they could find. They even snatched the bandies right out of the White House right here in America. Can you imagine that? The White House with all their bandies snatched away? Oh, that does sound serious. And once I nearly had them, I laid a trap for them, but something went wrong. I, I learned that bandy snatchers will also snatch bandy snatcher catchers. You mean Mr. Harry Foot captured you? Yes, and held me prisoner for weeks before I escaped. Now, wait a minute. What are bandies well, anyway? Well, you know, they're... They're... Well, don't you know? No, don't you? Well, I, I never really saw any real bandies. Mr. Harry Foot had always managed to snatch all the bandies by the time I had arrived. So you've never seen a bandy or even know what one is? 
Right, but I'm, I'm still on the case, and you've just given me hope for a fresh lead. If you are a boy or girl of eight or nine or ten, listen when I say the bandy snatcher's back again. He's always there, so you beware. He's under beds and bushes, always waiting quietly for bandies by the bushels. Some people think that bandy snatchers grow to some great size. Others who have seen them swear they're small but mighty wise. The bandy snatcher snatches bandies quicker than a wink. When you try to catch him, he's never where you think he is. If you've ever seen a bandy snatcher snatching bandies, you will know you saw him by mistake, he's sneaky and he's always hiding in a place you never think to look. When you're searching in a drawer, he's hanging from a closet hook. Now I suggest that you protect your very precious bandies, hiding them in nooks and necks and not out where they're handy. Catch the catch or they'll be gone, be sure to latch the latch, cause handy bandies in a batch are just what bandy snatchers snatch. If you decide to try to catch a sneaky bandy snatcher, you'll have to have a handy dandy bandy snatcher catcher. A bandy snatcher catcher is a trap that's mighty quick. Cause bandy snatchers snatch so fast you must be quick to trick them. Just one thing before you try in case you think it matters. Bandy snatchers also snatch bandy snatcher catchers. This could be very serious. Did you notice any bandies missing when you returned to your home and found this cassette tape that Mr. Harry Foot had left behind? I told you, I don't know anything about any bandies, and I don't think there is such a thing. What did you do after you listened to the tape that Mr. Foot had left in your home? I looked at our detectives in the phone book, and I came over to see you to see if you could help solve this mystery of who left the tape. I should have saved myself the walk. You mean you wish you had driven your car to see me? No, I wish I had gone to see another detective. You know, there's a good chance that Mr. Harry Foote was still hiding in your house when you left. That would be just like him skulking around your closets and cabinets looking for bandies to snatch. I suggest we return to your house at once and see if we can find any evidence that Mr. Harry Foote is still prowling about. Oh, all right. I'll show you the way to my home. Walk this way. Why should I want to walk just like you? What? Oh, just follow me if you can. And that's what Freddy Fox, the world's greatest little detective, is best known at. I've followed some of the most crafty and shadowy criminals, and they could never lose me. I've stayed on them like glue. I never once... Miss, Miss Carolyn? Miss Carolyn, wait for me! We'll return with more Kids Radio Show after this. Miss Carolyn, I've been walking behind you now for several blocks and I've observed that you're being followed. Really? Did you get a good look at who it was? No, not really. I only caught glimpses of him. Why didn't you try to nab him? I was going to, but he's a crafty one. Every time I'd see him following you, he'd slip out of sight before I could see him. Well, shouldn't you be back behind me again to see if you can find out who it is following me? No, I figured I'd better walk with you because I noticed out of the corner of my eye several times that someone was following me also. You mean there's more than one of them? Yes, and they're sliding along in a dark and skulking manner. They undoubtedly are part of Harry Foote's gang of bandy snatchers. They may be after our bandies right now. You still haven't told me what bandies are supposed to be. I suggest we get to your home quickly. We may be in great danger. At least our bandies are. We're here. This is my house. Let's get inside quickly. Here, you look out this window and tell me if you can see who is following us. I'll check your back door to make sure it's locked. Hmm... I don't see anyone out there in my front yard. It's just a nice, calm, sunny day outside with not a soul around. That's what they want us to think. Well, your back door looks secure enough. Hello. What's this here on your white carpeting, huh? Why, there's large, muddy footprints all over my nice white rug. I didn't notice those when I left here earlier. And you said there wasn't a soul around. Look at the size of these soles. Those prints were left here by only one person with feet that big and ugly. Who? Who else but Mr. Harry Foot? You got something special standing on the ground. Kick a ball, climb a hill, and walk them all around. They'll walk you up and down the street. Take a bath and they'll smell sweet. Pull your socks off, hold your nose, and wiggle your toes and look. Ones. 
these things called feet There are two of them They're silly looking things They come in all sizes Now what mother nature brings One, two, buckle my shoe Try to be satisfied With short ones, long ones, fat ones, skinny ones Even little baby ones Between your toes, you can ride a skateboard, they'll even slide on snow. On a rainy day, you can put them in a boot, but it would be a lot more fun to take those boots off and run, 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 run in your bare feet, feet, feet. They're nifty, neat, clean ones, muddy ones, even sticky, smelly ones. There are big muddy footprints all over my rug. Ah, but look closely. There's a pattern in those big clobbing prints. They lead directly towards the back door of your house, then back out here into the living room again. Do you have any bandies stored by your back door, Miss Carolyn? Wait a minute. There is a pattern to those big ugly footprints on my carpet. You walked in here when we first arrived, and then you checked my back door. Then you walked back in here, and those mud prints lead right up to where you're standing. And your shoes are all muddy, too. No, 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 no. Miss Kettlin, you're not suggesting that those big, ugly footprints were made by me, are you? I know they're yours. You forgot to wipe your feet when you came in my house. Hark! Someone's rapping on your door. Don't open the door until I peek out the window here to see who it is. Ah! It's him! Who? Mr. Harry Foot, I'd recognize those feet anywhere. Here, you can see how he wears those high-top black tinny boots with the white rubber seals on the sides colored with the yellow magic marker. Oh, that's Harry Foot, all right. Oh, well, what should we do? First, let's get behind your front door so I can nab him when he comes in. All right, I'm set. I'll use this cassette tape here as a weapon to defend myself. Ready? Open the door. Yes, may I help you? I I certainly hope so. I don't mean to put my foot in your door or anything, but I was here earlier, and I left a cassette tape for you to listen to. And you've just stuck your foot in your mouth, Mr. Harry Foot. Fox! What are you doing here? And what are you going to do with that cassette tape in your hand? You'll find out soon enough. Oh, no! Help! Oh, watch out! Get away from me! I thought you would steal another Ah. bunch of bandies, eh, Foot? But this time I was waiting for you. Ah. Take... That's Foot! Oh, and that! Oh, oh yeah, Shut come! Up. He's crazy! Yes, crazy like a fox now that I have you. Have you had enough? Start talking, Foot. Who are those shadowy figures you've had following Miss Kellen and myself today? What are you talking about? I haven't had anyone following you. Oh, then explain this cassette tape you left in Miss Kellen's home after you broke into it. Her door was open. I didn't break in. I just wanted her to hear and, and, and listen to some of the songs I had recorded. Oh, so you're a songwriter. That's right. And I know you have a show called Kids Radio. And I just wanted you to hear one of the numbers I had written about myself and, and see if you could use it on your show. That's all. Don't listen to him, Miss Kelly. He's just after bandies. If he can get his hands on them. He, he's crazy. I don't know anything about any bandies. This idiot has followed me around for years, accusing me of snatching bandies when I don't even know what one is. So you're going to stick with that flimsy story of being a songwriter, eh, Foot? Well, we'll see about that. Here, Miss Carolyn, hold this cassette tape on Foot and cover him while I check outside for those characters who are following us. And lock the door behind me. This could be dangerous. Okay, if you say so. 
Aha! Here's one of them now! You can't escape me! Now I've got you, you little trap! What's he doing? He's just wrestling around on the ground with no one! No! Look closer, Miss Carolyn! You'll notice he's wrestling with his own shadow! That's what I was trying to tell you! Oh, no. The man really doesn't have both oars in the water! You mean the figures he saw following us to my home were our own shadows? Yes! Yes! Freddy Fox is a bit over the rainbow, if you know what I mean! I suggest you just keep your front door locked while we discuss my song I wrote for your show! That's a good idea! That's your shadow following you, doing the things you do. That's your shadow walking along with you. That's your shadow thrown on the wall, sometimes big, sometimes small. That's your shadow walking along with you. Turn on the light at the top of the stairs. Turn on the light and your shadow's there. Sneeze and your shadow sneezes too, but it doesn't make a sound like you. That's your shadow, flat as can be. Nothing inside you see. That's your shadow walking along with you. Turn on the light at the top of the stairs. Turn on the light and your shadow's there. Sneeze and your shadow sneezes too, but it doesn't make a sound like you. That's your shadow, flat as can be. Nothing inside you see. That's your shadow walking along with you. We'll return with the conclusion of Kids Radio Show in a moment. After I wrestled with the mysterious shadow figure on the front lawn of Miss Carolyn's house, I let him escape from me just as the sun was setting on the horizon. <laughs> he had fled for his life. I considered the case closed because Miss Carolyn had closed her doors and didn't answer when I knocked. Oh well, I deducted that she was too bashful and shy to thank me for running off Harry Foot and his shadowy gang of mysterious followers. Just one more adventure in the life of Freddy Fox, the world's greatest little-known detective. Well, now that Freddy Fox has gone away and stopped bothering us, Mr. Foot, perhaps we can discuss how much you wanted for the little song you wrote for my show. Oh, oh not very much, really. I figured that about... Ten or twenty bandies should be enough. <laughs> bandies? Bandies? 